The Honourable Member from Calgary Centre. After nine years of this NDP Liberal government, taxes are up, costs are up, crime is up, and time is up. Crime is up in Toronto with shootings up 45 per cent, and gun-related homicides up 62 per cent since last year. While the Prime Minister celebrates on social media, police associations are condemning his failed handgun policy. The Toronto Police Association states, criminals did not get your message. Will the Prime Minister stop working against the police and reverse his failed crime wave policy? Here, here. The Honourable Permit, the Secretary to the Minister of Public Safety. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's really concerning that all Canadians should be aware that what Conservatives are proposing for their, to, in their ways to make our streets safer is to actually put more guns on the street. We have banned handguns and assault weapons that were designed for the battlefield, and Conservatives want to make those guns legal again. Mr. Speaker, we know investments in crime prevention and investments in our border to prevent illegal guns into our country and to ban handguns is the solution to make our communities safe. Good job. And ask, remind members, please, not to take the floor unless they're recognized by the Speaker. The Speaker is now recognizing the Honourable Member from Calgary Centre. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. When that member res responded on social media to similar claims, the Toronto Police Association said, we are sharing data about gun violence in Toronto. These facts represent the work of our members and the lives of victims. Shame on anyone who suggests otherwise. End quote. After nine years of violent gun, violent gun crime has doubled in Canada. In Calgary, it's quadrupled. That is the Liberal record. Will the Prime Minister end his self-congratulatory rhetoric and start listening to the police to stop this deadly crime wave? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, while Conservatives like quotes, let me quote their record on the issue. When Conservatives were in power, they cut $143 million out of CBSA. That was 1,100 CBSA employees. And what did the President, the former President of the Public Safety Workers say at the time? He said, quote, more weapons, illegal drugs, child pornography will pass through our borders, not to mention terrorists and sexual predators and hardened criminals, end quote. That's the Conservative record. The Honourable Member from Sturgeon River Parkland. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think what that member just illustrated is what has happened under nine years of this NDP Liberal government. Taxes are up, costs are up, violent crime continues to go up. The Liberals' gun ban does nothing to stop violent crime on our streets. In fact, violent gun crime is up 116 per cent across Canada since this Liberal government took power. The Vancouver Police Association agrees. They stated stopping legal sales will not stop criminals from getting guns illegally. They're only restricting law abiding citizens citizens while doing little to actually address crime and violence. When will these Liberals finally listen to police, stop attacking law-abiding gun owners, and go after the violent criminals instead? The Honourable Minister of National Defence. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I spent 39 years of my life fighting gun violence in the City of Toronto. And one of the things I learned is that cops count. But today, Mr. Speaker, there are 700 fewer police officers in Toronto than when I was the Chief. And those are the same police officers that fought guns and gangs. They gave evidence at bail hearings and they kept neighborhoods safe. But just like Stephen Harper, who cut a thousand RCMP jobs, successive conservative mayors and premiers have frozen police budgets and frozen police hiring. And this is the cost, the price that we all pay for, for reckless conservative cuts. And Mr. Speaker, if the conservatives are looking for causation of the increase in violence, look at the mayor. The honorable. The Honourable Member from Sturgeon River Park. Well, Mr. Speaker, under this Liberal government and under that Liberal Minister, RCMP recruitment is at all-time lows. They should be the ones looking in the mirror. The Liberals' record on violent crime and car theft is abysmal. The Insurance Bureau of Canada published a report showing that car theft claims are up 138 per cent since this Liberal government took power. Whenever the Liberals get up and brag about their action on car theft, people don't know whether to laugh or to cry. They're admitting that they failed terribly, but now they're bragging that they're failing just a little less spectacularly than they were before. When will these Liberals finally get serious, stop targeting law-abiding Canadians, and get serious about violent crime instead? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, once again, we see Conservative hypocrisy. They think 
the way to keep our streets <laughs> safe is by putting more guns in the hands of uh, criminals. They think reducing workers at the CBSA to inspect illegal imports of guns is going to keep communities safe. Conservatives are all about cuts, including cuts to police forces, cuts to inspections at our border, and they want to ensure that handguns are legal again. Mr. Speaker, we know and Canadians know that keeping our communities safe is by banning illegal handguns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gonna have the